Hi, thank you for purchasing your GMAX2 Pro 3D printer. This video is a companion to the quick start guide that came with your printer, and it should be used after you've unboxed the printer. In this video, we'll go over the basic setting up of the printer, we'll run a basic motor test that's supplied with the printer to make sure everything's operating correctly, we'll run the x-axis twist wizard, which will help compensate for any twists across the x-axis, we'll go ahead and preheat and level the bed, then we'll start your first print, and if you stay to the very end, we'll even add some additional tips. We hope you'll find this video tutorial to be useful and helpful. After you've unboxed your printer, it's very important that the vertical uprights are exactly 90 degrees to the frame. The x-axis twist wizard will actually help compensate for this, but if this is already perfectly 90 degrees, it'll make things easier. Next, plug in the heated bed to the back of the electronics case. Also plug in the runout sensor wire. Both spots are labeled. Route the runout sensor wire to the side and rear of the vertical frame using the wire clips provided. Next, plug in the runout sensor wire to the runout sensor itself before installing it on the top frame. Secure the runout sensor to the top rail using the M6 T nut and bolt. Install the filament spool bracket on the top rail in the orientation shown, and you can go ahead and open up your filament spool and put it on the bracket. Insert the filament into the runout sensor and bring it all the way down to the extruder. Insert the filament into the extruder by pinching the swing arm, and the filament should go down about 4 inches till it reaches the bottom. If you're using the G10 FR4 heated bed, it's very important to clean off any residual oil on the bed, whether from your fingers or from other parts. To clean off the oil, you can use glass cleaner or rubbing alcohol. Do not use other solvents such as acetone or it might damage the bed. It's recommended when you first start your printer to gently pull the BL touch pin down and inspect it for any damage. Make sure it's not bent or broken. You can now power on the printer. The BL touch pin will stow and deploy a few times as it performs a startup test. If the BL touch starts blinking red, make sure the pin is not bent or make sure the wires are not broken. As the printer starts up, it'll take a few seconds for the touchscreen itself to actually connect to the printer. This is normal. Now that the printer is set up, we can go ahead and run the initial setup file. This file will test all the motors, fans, and hot end to ensure that they're functioning properly. To start, remove the SD card from the accessory box and insert it to the left side of the touchscreen. Then select the initial setup file by going to Print, TFT SD, Initial Setup, and click OK. First, you should see the BL touch pin stow and deploy five times. If the pin does not move, make sure it's not bent or broken off. Next, the extruder will home to the left side of the x-axis. Then the x-axis will move the extruder left to right several times slow and then fast. Once the x-axis has completed its test, the y-axis, or the bed, will do the same thing. Lastly, the z-axis will do its test by moving up and down. Once the x, y, and z axes have been tested, the extruder motor will test. You will see the extruder drive gear spin while the hot end is still cold. Once complete, the hot end will be set to 195 degrees and begin to heat up. The last test is for the blower fan to go on half speed and then full speed. The Marlin firmware now has an x-axis twist wizard which will help compensate for any twists across the x-axis. This is especially useful on large format 3D printers such as the GMAX. Currently, you have to access the x-axis twist wizard via Marlin mode. This can be done by pressing the screen for 2 seconds, then select Marlin mode. Next, navigate to the x-twist correction wizard by going to Configuration, Advanced Settings, Probe Offsets, x-twist wizard. Click the knob to begin the process. The extruder will home to the center of the bed, and then it will go to the first point, which is on the far left side. Use a thin sheet of paper while adjusting the height. You can adjust in different increments as you lower the extruder down onto the bed. You want it to where the nozzle will just barely grip the paper. Once you're satisfied with the height, go ahead and click Done. Do the same process for all four points. 
If this is your first time running the printer, it's important not to save the Z-Probe offset, as we set it intentionally high in the factory for your first run. But on the next screen, make sure to click Yes to save the X-Twist values. To go back to Touch Mode, simply press the screen for another 2 seconds and select Touch Mode. The G-Max comes with mesh bed leveling that generates a 3D mesh of the entire bed and saves it to memory. While you don't have the bed level prior to every print, it's a good idea to do so if you're changing the bed temperature. It's important to always preheat the bed prior to bed leveling at the temperature you plan on printing at. To preheat the bed, go to Menu, Heat Fan, Preheat, and make sure that you have the hot bed selected. Now select your temperature. Once the bed is up to temperature, go to Menu, Movement, Bed Level, ABL, and then Start. The printer will then home X, Y, and Z. The printer will probe 144 points and generate a 3D mesh in memory. Once leveling is complete, save it to memory. Please note, if the screen is dim, you'll have to press it twice as you wake it up from sleep mode. Make sure the settings store to memory, then click Back and Mesh Edit to see the mesh that's generated. Also, make sure bed leveling is on. You can keep the heaters on if you plan on starting a print right away. We're now ready to start your first print. This is actually the same file that was printed on your printer when it left the manufacturing facility. We also include it in the accessory box. This is actually a necessary print, as it lets us know that the printer arrived in perfect working order. To start, remove the SD card from the accessory box and insert it to the left side of the touchscreen. Then go to Print, TFT SD, Start Here, and click GMAX First Print. If the runout sensor is off for some reason, you can turn it on by going to the More and then Features menu. Please note, the printer won't do anything until the bed is up to temperature, so it might take a minute if it's not preheated. Once everything is up to temperature, the extruder will home to the center of the bed and the print will begin. It's important to adjust your first layer height to make sure you get proper adhesion. This can be done by going to the baby step menu and adjusting the probe offset. You can use either the touch screen or the knob and you can also change the increment height. Please note, as you're adjusting the height, this is adding it to the command queue, so it might take a few seconds for you to see a difference in height. Also, as mentioned before, we intentionally set the probe offset height high by one millimeter. This gives you time to familiarize yourself with baby stepping. Once you're happy with the new height, go ahead and save it to memory. Please note, as you're printing different files with different first layer heights, you might have to adjust the Z-Probe offset often. Keep an eye on the first layer to make sure there's no curling, especially at corners. Now simply keep an eye on the print and let it finish. Take note that we added additional geometry to the corners and tip of the print. This helps with adhesion at sharp corners, and they can simply just be cut away later. Once the print is complete, it's very important to let the heated bed cool down. If you try and pull the print off while the heated bed is still warm, you'll either warp your print or you might damage the bed. Once the bed is cool, the print will most likely just pop right off, but you can also use a supply scraper to scrape it off. Your test print should look the same as the print that we included in the accessory box. Congratulations on your first 3D print. Wait, you're still here? Perfect! Here are some additional 3D printing tips to help you achieve higher quality and bigger prints. Marlon firmware comes equipped with PID Auto Tuning. This can be used to tune the heating cycle of both the heated bed and the hot end to match your environment, and this helps prevent fluctuations in heating. To tune the heating cycle, go to Menu, Settings, and then the Machine tab. Feature has other additional options. Then go to Tuning, then select PID. Here, you can pick a temperature you want to set the PID auto-tuning at. We recommend picking the temperature you plan on printing. Then click Start. You should run PID auto-tuning if your environment has changed, such as going from summer to winter, or if you have your air conditioning on. Once it's complete, save it to memory. We've included a few custom G-code routines which help simplify basic tasks. These can be found under Menu, Settings, Machine, Custom. You can access a basic G-code terminal by going to Menu, Terminal. 
This is useful for sending basic commands to the printer, such as M503, which will display all of the EEP ROM data. More commands can be found in the user guide. If you need to determine your firmware version, you can find it under Menu, Settings, Info. This is very useful when upgrading your firmware because we recommend doing both the mainboard firmware as well as the touchscreen firmware at the same time. You can adjust the speed of your print or the flow of the extruder either before you start your print but also in real time while your print is going. This can be very useful if you find that your print is going too fast and not cooling enough or if for some reason you would like to either increase or decrease the flow. Just click the furthest right icon, then go ahead and make sure you're either on speed or flow. You can adjust the color, brightness, or just turn on or off the LED light bar. To do so, just go to Menu, Settings, Machine, LED Color. This is very useful if you want to turn it off at night. We hope you found the setup guide useful. Keep in mind this is supposed to be used with the setup manual, as more toppers are covered in there. You can also find additional resources on gcrea.com where we have filament settings libraries, tutorials, documentation, and even free 3D models. In the filament settings library, we list different temperatures for different materials as well as their surface quality, strength, and ease of use. We also have a variety of articles where we discuss different topics such as using water-soluble filament or choosing the right nozzle for a particular layer height. And of course, we're always open to new suggestions. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy using your GMAX 2 Pro 3D printer. And we can't wait to see what you come up with.